Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're on the Nexus. Just uh, got off the Tempest here and uh, we're, we have a lot of work on the Nexus, so uh, let's get to it, shall we? There are a few shops here as well, it seems. So I'm just going to take a look around here as well. I'm not going to show you everything, of course, but uh, maybe we get something interesting out of it. Maybe some new armor. So with my limited amount of money, I just bought uh, the Pathfinder armor, which looked like a pretty good deal. So uh just going to continue on right now, because I'm just going to quickly check what I have as my active quest at the moment. Although, I'm just going to head over there, because I think I needed to talk to Addison, uh, which, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we're still we're back at operation. So we have a few things we can do here. But I'm just going to quickly talk to Addison over here. Yeah, okay. We're still on the right track. There we go. Hello, Addison. You Tired face, up, lady. Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Tell me about it. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Okay, then speak with Addison's assistant, Brecker. I think we got a mail about that as well. Vladimir Brecker. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we are doing. Indeed. And the viability and the nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Um, so tell me about the uh, AVP, the Andromeda Viability Points. What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. Sounds simple enough. And how about the thresholds? How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. Sounds simple enough. And how do we decide which blocks of people to awaken first? So I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. Okay, what's first? Alright, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. Sounds good! the initiative at your leisure. At my leisure, even. So let's check the AVP status control. If I can push it. There we go. Science pods, military pods, and commerce pods. So commerce is interesting, although I don't think I'm gonna focus on that first. Maybe go into science. Lab technicians. We earn research points at regular intervals. Hmm, okay. Mining operations receive a selection of minerals at regular intervals. Which is even more interesting to me. Military... Ooh, there's a lot more. Receive a drop of consumable supplies at regular intervals. Hunting parties receive organic materials at regular intervals. Stack materials. Reveal hidden caches around established forward stations. And Apex Tactics earn 50% more credit credits for Apex missions. That's of course an interesting one to get early on. But you guys won't have anything about with that, so... Maybe the hidden caches. 
Although, you know what? Just to start with, I think I need those uh, minerals first. So let's deploy a cryo block that's focused on mining operations first. There we go. Yeah, point investment is irreversible. But as uh, as that man said, we uh, we will get them all eventually. So that is actually good. Collect, collect rewards. Acquired minerals delivery. Okay, so I do need to come back here every time. That is not that interesting, but iridium, copper, and silicon. Okay, and that's it, apparently. That's another quest done. I'm quickly going to check the quest log to see what we can do next. Because there's, of course, a lot to do here. So next up is Tan. So we know where he is. He's supposed to be... Wait. Yeah, there we go. I was thinking about that. He's right over here on the right. Okay, there we go. Hello. Good to see you. Director Tan is expecting you. Wait, Last where time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. Wait, We're still getting what? the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Um, still a big job ahead, indeed. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend. Hmm. A patron. And One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. You don't know me at all. Do respect, Director Tan, but you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And that indeed and we did. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Okay, then. Yeah, there is one outpost. And okay, he's using that Yours as a bit of first uh, trophies to grace advertising. Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. Hmm. And I'm just getting started. I plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, Hello, Gandros and Cash. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting um, director. All opinions matter indeed. Take it easy, this guys. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. Okay, is thank you, Tan. On, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Um, I don't think I need permission, but thank you anyway, I suppose. Um, don't want to start a riot just yet, so... Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder... Ugh. Oh, badumchu. Right. Yeah, that was a bit... A bit meh. Oh, and that completed a better beginning as well. Interesting. Um, that gave me a lot more experience Ryder, points, I this suppose. This is Harry, back on the Ark. Go okay. ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your brother, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Med Bay. Will do. Okay, so all of, there's a lot of things going on. Right, oh. have to talk to Addison's assistant about viability perks. Sounds useful. So that means we can actually... Uh, get another perk. What is this? 
Donated to the Andromeda Initiative Historical Records Council. All dates are in common era. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Thank you for all that, but I don't really need that. Oh, hello, Gora. The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Now to keep up the good work. Can't relax yet. The initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Indeed it is. Thank you, Gora. Um, what is this? Humanity's first crewed ion engine starship. Built using technology proven by the ESA Smart One probe in 2003. 2003. And then of course the Normandy. Secretly acquired blueprints of the Normandy SR2, a stealth frigate based on designs co-developed by the System Systems Alliance and the Turian Hierarchy. And then the THV Ravuna. A model of the Ravuna, an early Tyrian starship and their first to travel beyond the Moss Relay. I'm not gonna check out everything here, because there seems to be a lot of stuff here. Memorial for what? Oh, for Alec Ryder probably. Yeah, that's his armor. Okay, so let's go back down. Because indeed, this was a storage unit before. Now it's actually a nice, a nice memorial. Um... Hmm, yeah, the, the viability points. Yeah, AVP, here I come. Let's get another perk. There we go. So we went with science, the mining operations. Uh, so I think it's a good... Wait, what? I thought Sam said I had AVP outstanding. Sam was lying to me, or there's something else about EV AVP that I'm missing. I'm um, quickly gonna check our next quest and I'll see you guys. Wait, you know what? I know what I can do. Kandros, I need to I'd talk to you about strike missions. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. You're trusting them to me? I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. That is good, so that means I can send uh, teams on strike missions, but that is kind of online stuff. Oh, okay, never mind, I don't have the missions for that. Okay, that's good, so fire strike team completed. I'm um, gonna check if I can level up, actually, because I've done quite a few levels. Yeah, there we go. Because I think I can just, yeah, plus 15% to all damage, which is good. Learn that. And then I have one more point, and I think I'm going to put that, ooh, a tactical cloak. That would be nice as well. But let's go with shields. I'm just going to keep everybody alive a bit longer. And then I'm going to go through everybody, and I'll see you guys in a second. And there we go, everybody taken care of. And I should have selected another... Hmm, I should have selected another quest, although I think I needed to talk with one of the scientists, if I'm not mistaken. And these guys were supposed to be over here, if I'm not mistaken. Sid! Oh, that's the... the younger sister of Vetra. It's you! You're the human Pathfinder! I'm Sid, Vetra's sister! Vetra's told me all about you. Well, not all about you, but the important bits. I should probably get back to work. It was real nice meeting you, though. Well, that was a, a, a chance encounter. Well, tell me about your work. What work do you do here? Oh, I just monitor comms from colonists. Progress updates, hazards encountered. Note it down, pass on a report to Sean at the end of the day. Important job. I know. It's nice to hand in a report and have someone say I helped. I'll let you get back to work. I'm glad I could give you uh, some motivation. Now I'm gonna check out the quests, cause uh... Wait, what? I just... I just spoke with Sid. Didn't I, didn't I just do that? I just did that, right? Ryder! I'll let you get back to work. Yeah, indeed. Why, why does that keep popping up, speak with Sid? Ah, never mind. Then we have that firefighter's quest, but I think we're gonna have to move to another area for that. 
Uh, I'm not really sure if I needed to talk to Cash anymore. Do I need to go down or not? Yeah, okay, I need to go down. Never you mind, see you guys in a second. Okay, so... Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of people talking at the same time. Dr. Aridana. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. Yeah, Sam would love to take a look, I suppose. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Okay then, so we need to go back to the Hyperion, which is actually very, very convenient, because I need to head there anyway to check up on Scott, so... Although, Professor Harry, can you... do you need my help Pathfinder, as well? those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? Uh, that sounds interesting. What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes. We're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Uh, of course we're tempted. Access the terminal. Is that the, the terminal over here? The console? Uh, since we are by definition an invasive species in Andromeda, our inevitable footprint must be laid carefully. And we must preserve anything we replace. The Helios cluster represents an unexpected challenge. We arrived with seed archives and DNA banks to ensure preservation of the biodiversity of the Milky Way. But this cluster is scarred by the scourge and its unique flora and fauna are threatened by its turbulence. That too requires conservation. There we go. That was what I needed to scan. Scan Andromeda Wildlife. Sounds like something we can do while we're at it. Um, Chief Lucan, are you somebody I need to talk to? Hi Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? Um, try, try and stop me? Absolutely. Well, why what are you, you on the table? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? So, sound oh, well, well, where the hell did he go? He just warped to the thingy over there. Um, Jesus Christ, what's, where, where, which console? You're not giving clear directions. Is there something I needed to check? I don't... Uh, or is this the same... Yeah, okay, there we go. This, it's the same console. I activated this already. Streamlined interface. Yeah, okay, there we go. Geophysics VI beta build. Thank you. So now I can scan minerals for s some reason. So that's a bit of a... Well, very minor side quest I could do. There's a lot of areas here, and I am curious, so that's that's where we came from. So what is this? Can't open that, can't open that at all. So I guess I'll see you guys at the Hyperion. So in the meantime, we're back at Sam Note, and let's see what the... Well, I was going to say the man has to say, but the, the glowy blue spectacle thingy has to say. Welcome back, Sarah. Um, I have equations for you. Dr. Aradana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Oh. Hey. What the? Sam? Minister's code detected. Please stand by. Oh, wow. Sam? Attempting to countermand Minister's code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or. Sam? You trying to show me something? Yeah. Okay, I'm to... I think I got it. I'm doing what you want me to do. Sam, talk to me. Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. Wow, okay. Um, did it hurt? Hmm. 
Yeah, it, it, it hurt. How do you feel? Are you okay? I cannot feel pain. However, I would avoid repeating the experience, which is the purpose of pain in organic life. Yeah, indeed. Unlock kind the of. door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. I'm gonna shank her in the face. Confront Dr. Aridada. Dr. Aridada, what do you have to say for yourself? Are you sure the scan isn't contaminated? Nope. Nope. I'm Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? I'm gonna shoot you in solve the face. Them. They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did this happen? Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti. Complaints to ten. Perhaps someone took the next step. What's wrong with AI? Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. Hmm. Down, down with AI? That is just stupid. If graffiti is the best they can do, maybe they could use some artificial intelligence. Entire species were driven into exile by AI they created, champ. That leaves a mark. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. Okay, look for anti-AI activity on the Nexus. That sounds like a very general thing to need to do, but... Give me a second again and I'll see what I can find. Hmm, seems like there's something over here already. Uh... Oh, okay, Avina, why why are you red all of a sudden? Detecting Pathfinder Rider. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Avina as a sock puppet. So our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed in your head. Who the hell are you? Who am I talking to right now? A friend. Our movement sent the virus to save you. Pathfinder. It's possible they don't realize that virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Yeah, you got a point, Hello? Sam. Writer? <laughs> no, Sam, I'm great. Um, I feel weird without Sam. The disconnect was very sudden. I'm grateful, just woozy. It'll pass. See, this is what our movement's all about stopping. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. Can I meet her? I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. She might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. That was weird coming out of that red Asari's A whole movie mouth. of AI-hating hackers if with I a leader called it, Knight. She and her followers seem to have experience with human-AI partnership. If they attacked you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to find them. Hmm, interesting. On hold, wait for an email from Knight. So with that, I'm gonna actually take a little break again. I kind of actually can do that at the same point I did, well, the same position I did when we uh, previously left off. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching again, right here in front of the Tempest. Uh, and I'll hope to see you in the next video or series. So if you liked it, uh, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again, enormously for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye.